Hello there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I am showcasing the adorable Pink and Main Stamp Timber collaboration set with Simon's Stamp, and I'm gonna make an edge to edge shaker card with this. I think these marshmallow snowmen are just so cute. This set is called Love You Snow Much, and though I had a hard time picking, I decided to use the snowman and the penguin together on the sled. I'm going to stamp that image with some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink onto Hammer Mill white cardstock. That's because I'm going to Copic color these images and this paper is fantastic for Copic coloring. I'm going to use simple coloring techniques to color in these images. One of the things I loved most about this project is coloring in the marshmallow snowmen. And because I wanted him to feel frosty and match the rest of the card that I'm going to be creating, I wanted to use blue to shade him. A lot of times I use gray, but because I wanted to match the blue colors I'll use in the background, that's why I chose the blue color for the shading. On his hat, I chose a couple of cool gray markers, which are the same markers that I'll use to color in the penguin. Now, of course, I can't not color the hat on the penguin like a Santa hat because I thought that was cute. And then I kept it simple and colored both of the scarves green, so that way they coordinated nicely. Finally, for the sled, I went ahead and used some browns to color that in. I did contemplate doing red, and I almost wish I did, but the brown looks nice too. There are coordinating dies for this set, so you can cut your images out with that. And speaking of dies, I'm going to use the Snowflake Hexagon die from Simon's Stamp to make this really sparkly frame. I cut it from some Lux Silver Glitter cardstock from Simon's Stamp, and this is going to get set on top of my background. The background is going to be a combination of ink blending and stenciling. I'm using this layering stencil set from Simon called Layering Snowflakes, and I'll actually use the layer that creates the entire background. There's actually two pieces that you can use interchangeably to make a multicolored snowflake background, especially if you want to use it with paste, it's really fun. But I'm just gonna use the single layer for this. I started first by ink blending my cardstock panel here with just some marine ink around the edges, and I left the middle completely white. With this background, I'm going to then layer the snowflake stencil on top. I'll tape it in place so it doesn't shift. And now I'm going to go back over top with that same marine ink and ink blend tone on tone snowflakes on top of the areas that we already blended on. So this is just going to give some texture to my background. It's going to make it be a little bit more subdued than if I were to just have stenciled the snowflakes straight onto the card. I really like that. I think that's gonna look really pretty inside of my edge to edge shaker. I made one of these with the Alex Siberia Stamp Timber exclusive and I was just thinking, oh, I had so much fun doing that. I wanna make another one. So here we go again. To make an edge to edge shaker, I use some stamp packaging plastic. Any plastic that's thin and flexible, you can use to fold over on top of your cardstock. We need to cover the edges of this paper with some tape. And for this, I'm using Simon's Stamp Terrific Tape. It's good for this. And I'll just cover all four sides, but only remove the release paper for three of those sides to start. Then I'll fold my plastic into the adhesive. This is always nice to be able to use the stamp packaging because then it kind of keeps down the waste. I have less trash in my trash can, which is nice. I'll trim off any excess on the corners and then start filling it with my sequins. I picked out some blue sequins that I thought would be a nice mix to put in here with some snowflakes. These snowflakes are so pretty. They're from Studio Katia. Originally, I put a little too much in, so you know what? Just reach in and pull them back out and get the mix ratio to how you like it. Once I have it filled to my heart's content, then you can go ahead and close up that last edge. And this is where we're going here with this project. I wanted to show you this, but guess what? I'm gonna also show you how much of a klutz I am. I had these snowflakes and I don't know how I did it, but I spilled them all out on top of my glass mat and well, here's the mess. So I had to clean that up. I have to tell you, I am total klutz and I do stuff like this all the time. I just don't always show you, but I thought I would show you this time. Hopefully you can relate. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and close up the shaker. I don't wanna spill any more sequins at this point. So we're gonna close this up and keep them contained by folding that plastic into that last edge. And then we'll trim off any excess that's on those sides. And here we go, we're gonna mix everything up and get those sequins all mixed in there and creating our really cool shaker. 
So this frame is gonna get centered on top of my panel here. I use some liquid glue to just put little dots of adhesive on those little small areas to hold this down. And then I'll lay this into the center of my shaker. This will hold really well on the plastic and the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky glue that I used, it will dry clear. So if you have anything that squishes out the edges, you'll never see it. So my shaker is going to get attached down onto my A2 size card. This is a top folding card. And this is just gonna give a nice little white border around my card panel because my card panel is just a little bit smaller. I love the sentiments that are in this set. And I picked one of those out and I decided to stamp it onto some red cardstock to pull out the red that's in the Santa hat on the penguin. I'm stamping this with embossing ink and then I'll use white embossing powder to sprinkle on top and then I'll heat set this. I love the saying, snowflake wishes and frosty kisses. That's just so cute. I did fussy cut the sentiment out so that way I could pop this up on top of my frame and that'll give me a really nice greeting to go with my card. To attach that greeting, I did use just a little piece of foam tape, which was the same adhesive that I used to attach the snowman and penguin to my card. And that's it. It's a relatively simple card to make. You could actually make a whole bunch of these for Christmas. I think that would be really fun. And I just can't get over how cute that little penguin and snowman are. I hope you enjoyed today's video using the Pink and Main Stamp Timber exclusive with Simon's Stamp. Don't forget, it is a limited edition set. So if you like it, you're definitely going to want to grab it while you can. But all the other products that I use today are not limited edition and you can get them at any point. So definitely check out the video links if you're curious about anything. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will be back very soon with more Stamp Timber inspiration for you. But until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful day.